Hey guys, what's up? It's Shannon bringing you guys this week's video. So what we're going over this week is going to be going over macronutrients and like more specifically kind of just how to calculate, you know, how many calories you should be eating in a day. So depending on what your goal is, whether you're, you know, you're trying to lean up, trying to get bigger, um, or you're just trying to lose weight, it's going to look different for everybody. Um, so something I heavily depend on is going to be something called biofeedback. So what biofeedback is, is you know just kind of going off your body and how it's feeling and how your body is reacting to the food and the amount of food that you're going to be eating in a day. So if one of the first things you guys are going to have is you know a macronutrient. So what a macronutrient is, is you know a carb, protein, or a fat. It's just one of the bigger portions of a molecule that you're going to be digesting and you know what gives your body fuel to you know fuel your workouts, fuel going to work, you know anything like that. So the biggest macronutrient I mean they're all important but the biggest one that you're gonna want to depend on is gonna be protein so yes protein so yes protein has had you know everybody's here you know heard about protein whether it's like oh you need to eat more protein or have a protein you know focused diet and anything I mean you hear those words all the time but most people don't know what that even means so um, you know, I, I'm gonna kind of, you know, guide you towards an area and if you guys need like additional help or something, leave it in the comments. Um, but, you know, focusing on protein is important. So for a general rule of thumb, yes, focus on protein dense foods. But, um, you know, how much do you eat? How much do you eat in a serving? You know, things like that. Um, so one of the things that you want to do when you're calculating your macros is um, you need something to track it by. So we live in a generation now kind of where, you know, things are um, fast paced. So in the sense of, you know, people don't want to, you know, pen and paper or, you know, calculate it. So there is this nice app called MyFitnessPal. So what MyFitnessPal does is kind of lets you scan all your foods in. This is something that I use. It's a free app that you can use. And that's something that I use in, you know, my everyday routine and also, you know, moving towards my bodybuilding career. Um, you know whether I'm leaning out trying to get bigger, you know, whatever my goal is at the time So how you're going to calculate that is going to be you know kind of based on your body weight um, So my fitness pal does give you kind of general guidelines to follow and I would say for the most part They do a pretty decent job and when they do kind of the macro split I would just say if you're looking for more specifics or maybe you've plateaued at a certain point at that point, you're going to need to kind of mod podge or mix around what you're doing for macronutrients. If you have no idea what you're doing, um, at this point, you're going to have to reach out because, you know, nobody wants to take, most people, I should say, don't want to take the time to kind of find out what works well for their body, what doesn't, how do I tell if something, you know, works well for my body. So one thing people usually do is kind of reach out to um, coaches where they just hire a coach. Um, I obviously, you know, have a coach for myself. Um, because just because of what I'm doing, you know, you see your body every day, so you can't notice like no deficits in like muscle growth or, you know, trying to improve muscle growth in an area. So it's always nice to have a coach. It also helps with accountability as well. Um, so just kind of knowing your body and you know what protein does for your body is a huge thing. So if you're kind of at the plateau point, at this point, this is where I would say you know reach out to a coach or myself. Uh, I do coaching for very cheap as well. Um, so if that's something you want to, you're interested in, you want to get into, feel free to, you know, um, drop a comment or something and, you know, we can kind of maybe get in contact that way. But overall, my fitness pal, calculate your macros there and that'll help you kind of get the basics around thing. I usually recommend people do a 40, 30, 30 split with 40 being protein and 30% being everything else. Some people um, recommend higher carbs, so maybe a 45, 35, like, you know, 15 split or whatever you know max up to 100 um, so depending on like I said what you're doing and what you're trying to accomplish your macro splits gonna look different if you're trying to put on more mass carbohydrates as well as protein are gonna be you know more um, you're gonna need more of those um, but if you're trying to cut down obviously you still need carbs and you still need fat but protein is kind of something that um, is emphasized in both areas so it's just kind of like you know trying to figure your body out going through the process but the big thing is is consistency is something that needs to be um, highlighted um, because if you're not consistent with it it doesn't mean it doesn't you know matter if you're eating like clean you know two days a week or something you're, you're just you know McDonald's and you know going to McDonald's and you know going there and just trashing it you know your macros for the week I mean um, 
it's just not gonna work out. I mean, the goal is to like, for example, most people in America want to lean out. You're trying to lose, you know, maybe it's five, 10 pounds. Average healthy weight loss per week is usually around one to two pounds. Um, so it's a process. So you don't want to trash it on just, you know, going out. But there's also ways to manage. Um, nobody wants to live a life of where you're, they're just, you know, fixated on foods or feeling guilty on foods. I personally have gone through that phase and moved past it, but you know, it's something that, you know, you want to keep note of and, you know, just kind of do what you're doing. So, um, yeah, so macros, splits, um, that's what I would recommend um, for just general stuff. Um, doing a 40, 30, 30, you're gonna, if you're, you know, a bigger person, um, you're definitely gonna see some leaning out. Um, the CDC also recommends 30 minutes of cardiovascular activity, five days a week, so totaling 150 minutes. Um, it's not accounting for maybe you do a HIIT type training or anything that obviously you're not going to be wanting to do, t you know, five times a week. That'd probably be anywhere from two to three, three being max. Uh, but, you know, that's where you kind of get into what people like to do. Some people like, you know, doing kind of steady state cardio, just being in a heart rate range. Some people just want to, you know, get it done and over with. So they do like a 10 to 15 minute hit versus maybe like a 30 minute walk. So there's a, you know, there's not a right and wrong way to get your cardio in. It's just making sure you're consistent with it. You know, not burning yourself out. Uh, most people I feel like you see at the gym, they just sit on a treadmill and they just walk it out. They just walk it out. They might lift up two things of dumbbells and they're out of the gym. They look like the same freaking thing like they have for the past few years. So obviously if you want to look different, you need to do different things. Doing the same thing over and over and over is not going to get you different results. You can't do the same thing and expect different. It's just, it's not how it works. So if this is an area you're kind of struggling, this is where I would encourage reaching out to either, you know, if you have friends that are bodybuilders, um, you know, friends that lift a lot that actually know what they're doing, um, or a coach. Uh, I feel like coaching now is more important for a lot of individuals just because, I mean, look at America, we're at like 50, 60% obesity, right? So it's just ridiculous. So um, if you guys got any questions, um, feel free to leave a comment below if you guys want to see anything else for videos. Um, also drop a comment I'm trying to do a video every Sunday um, so once we get into you know a good routine of doing that I'll probably try to upload more videos per week but like I said consistency is key you don't want to bite off more than you can chew so if you're kind of wondering what the first process is um, definitely leave a comment below and I'll you know comment on that I'm usually pretty on top of that stuff so um, hope you guys have a good one and we'll see you in the next one